60 million years ago, a monster walked the Earth. It was 13 meters long and weighed more than 7 tons, as heavy as an elephant. This was the Tyrannosaurus Rex, the Tyrant Lizard King. Its head was the size of a bathtub, filled with teeth as long as your forearm. Each tooth was like a banana mixed with a steak knife, strong enough to crush solid bone. It was the largest meat-eater to ever live on land, a true monster from a nightmare brought to life. For millions of years, T-Rex ruled a lost world as the ultimate predator. But every king has a story of how they took the crown. And the secret to T-Rex's reign is not what you think. What if the most fearsome predator in history began as an underdog? Long before T-Rex became king, North America was a very different place. It was ruled by other giants, a family of predators called Carcharodontosaurs. One of these rulers was a beast named Syats Mikororum. Syats was a monster over 9 meters long, weighing 4 tons. For millions of years, it was the top predator, the king of its time. And where were the ancestors of T-Rex? They were there, but they were small. They were fast and nimble hunters, but they lived in the shadows of giants like Syats. To a monster like Syats, a small tyrannosaur was no threat. They were like jackals at a lion's kill, staying out of the way of the true king. For millions of years, the mighty Carcharodontosaurs kept the tyrannosaurs from growing large and powerful. The throne was already taken. Then, something changed. About 90 million years ago, the giant Carcharodontosaurs disappeared. We don't know exactly why, but these old kings vanished from North America. For the first time in millions of years, the apex predator throne was empty. This created a huge opportunity, a gap in the food chain waiting to be filled. At the same time, the world itself was changing. After a period of extreme heat, the climate began to cool. And from across the globe, a new challenger arrived. Scientists believe the direct ancestors of T-Rex came from Asia, crossing a land bridge that connected the continents. These new arrivals found a land with no top predator to challenge them. With the old kings gone and the world changing, the Tyrannosaurs were finally free to evolve. They began to grow, and grow, and grow, seizing the empty throne and becoming the new giants of North America. The Age of Tyrants had begun. But the secret to T-Rex's long reign was not just its size, it was something much more clever. The T-Rex lived two very different lives in one. When a T-Rex was young, it was a completely different kind of hunter. A juvenile T-Rex was not a slow, heavy giant. It was slim, with very long legs, built for speed and chasing down prey. Its head was smaller and its teeth were not thick bone crushers. Instead, they were thin and sharp like little steak knives, perfect for slicing meat. These young hunters did not go after giant prey. They hunted small, fast animals. We know this because of an amazing fossil of a Gorgosaurus, a close cousin of T-Rex. Inside its stomach, scientists found the legs of two small bird-like dinosaurs called Cytopes. The young Tyrannosaur had been a picky eater. It didn't eat the whole animal, just the meatiest parts, the legs. By hunting small prey, the young T-Rex did not have to compete with the adults for food. This meant the T-Rex species could dominate the entire ecosystem, from the small animals all the way to the giants. Then, as a teenager, the T-Rex went through a monstrous change. This was its second life. Between the ages of 14 and 18, it had an explosive growth spurt. It packed on weight at an incredible speed, gaining up to 2.1 kilograms or 4.6 pounds every single day. In just a few years, it transformed from a one-ton teenager into a five-ton giant. Some scientists think the biggest T-Rex could have grown to weigh 15 tons, far bigger than any fossil we have ever found. Its whole body was rebuilt. Its sleek skull became a massive, deep weapon of bone. Its sharp slicing teeth became thick, powerful pegs designed to shatter the bones of its prey. Its long legs became shorter and thicker, built for power instead of speed. It changed from an Olympic sprinter into a heavyweight boxing champion. This incredible transformation turned the fast, nimble hunter into the bone-crushing king we all know. For a long time, we pictured T-Rex as a lonely monster, hunting all by itself. But amazing discoveries have started to tell a different and much scarier story. In Alberta, Canada, scientists found a bone bed with the remains of more than two dozen tyrannosaurs, all from a close relative of T-Rex called Albertosaurus. 
there were young ones and old ones, all buried together. Another site in Utah showed a group of dinosaurs called Teratophonius that also died together. This evidence suggests that Tyrannosaurs may not have been lonely hunters at all. They might have lived and hunted together in deadly family packs. This would have been a terrifying sight. The pack could have worked as a team. The faster, more agile teenagers would chase and separate prey from a herd, driving them towards the huge, slower adults who would move in for the final bone-crushing attack. The leader of this pack might have been the biggest animal of all, a giant female leading her family of killers. The adult T-Rex was a machine built for one purpose, to kill, and its greatest weapon was its head. The skull was enormous and front-loaded, with powerful muscles that gave it the strongest bite of any land animal in history. But what about its famously tiny arms? For years, people have made fun of T-Rex for its puny little arms. But these arms were not a mistake, they were a trade-off. To have the most powerful bite, T-Rex needed the biggest, heaviest head possible. To keep its body balanced, it had to lose weight somewhere else at the front, so T-Rex sacrificed its arms to gain power in its jaws. The tiny arms are a clue that tells us just how important its bite was. It was a giant land shark that did everything with its mouth. A T-Rex didn't just have power, it had a set of amazing senses that made it a perfect hunter. By using CT scanners to look inside fossil skulls, scientists have been able to map the T-Rex brain. They found that its eyes faced forward, giving it an excellent depth perception. Like a hawk or an eagle, it could judge distances perfectly for an attack. Its sense of smell was even better. It had huge olfactory bulbs in its brain, the parts used for smelling. This meant T-Rex could smell prey or a dead carcass from miles away. Its hearing was also tuned for hunting. Its long inner ear was perfect for hearing low-frequency sounds, like the heavy footsteps of a herd of dinosaurs far away. Its senses of balance were also sharp, allowing it to turn its body and keep its eyes locked on a target, even while moving quickly. It could smell you, hear you, and see you long before you knew it was there. So how smart was this super predator? A few years ago, one study suggested T-Rex was incredibly intelligent, with as many brain cells as a baboon. This idea was terrifying. A T-Rex that was smart enough to use tools or have a culture? But this research has shown this is likely not true. Scientists now believe that the first study overestimated the size of the T-Rex brain. Dinosaur brains did not fill their entire skull cavity like ours do. There was a lot of empty space. The new, more careful studies show that T-Rex was probably as smart as a modern crocodile or a large bird of prey. This doesn't mean it was dumb. A crocodile is a very clever hunter. T-Rex was a highly intelligent animal for its time, with the brain power it needed to hunt, track, and maybe even work together in a pack. It was a genius at being a predator. At the height of its power, T-Rex faced some of the most dangerous prey that ever lived. Its world was an arms race, where both predator and prey were armed with deadly weapons. Its greatest rival was Triceratops. This plant eater was no easy meal. It was a 9 meter long tank, with a massive bone shield and three sharp horns, each a meter long. We know they fought because of a spectacular fossil called the Dueling Dinosaurs. It shows a T-Rex and a Triceratops locked together, buried in what looks like their final battle. There is even a T-Rex tooth stuck in the Triceratops skeleton. Other fossils show Triceratops with healed bite marks, meaning some of them survived their encounters with the king. Another mighty opponent was the Ankylosaurus, a living fortress covered in thick bone armor and carrying a giant club on its tail. A direct hit from this tail could shatter a T-Rex's leg. To hunt an Ankylosaurus, a T-Rex couldn't just use power, it had to be smart, trying to flip the armored beast over to attack its soft, unprotected belly. The King's reign was not easy. It was a series of epic battles against giants that were almost as dangerous as it was. For two million years, T-Rex was the undisputed king. Its world was a thriving paradise. But then, 66 million years ago, it all came to a sudden violent end. A rock from space, an asteroid 10 kilometers wide, slammed into the Earth near Mexico. The impact was more powerful than all the nuclear bombs in the world combined. It blasted a hole 100 kilometers wide and sent a plume of molten rock hotter than the sun into the sky. 
Superheated winds moving faster than a jet plane burned everything for thousands of kilometers. The impact triggered giant earthquakes and mega tsunamis hundreds of meters high that washed across the continents. 70% of the world's forests caught fire, and the sky turned dark with ash and dust. Around the world, we can find a thin layer of clay from this exact moment. It's filled with a metal called iridium, which is rare on Earth but common in asteroids. It is the calling card of the killer that ended the age of the dinosaurs. Any T-Rex near the impact was gone in an instant, but even the ones on the other side of the world were doomed. The dust and soot from the impact and the fires blocked out the sun, not just for days, but for years. The world was plunged into a dark, freezing winter. Acid rain fell from the sky. Without sunlight, the plants died. Without plants, the giant herbivores starved. And without the herbivores, the king of the dinosaurs had nothing to eat. And here is the final tragic secret of the T-Rex. The very thing that made it king, its enormous size, became its fatal flaw. It was too big and needed too much food to survive in a dead world. While small, humble creatures like our mammal ancestors could hide in burrows and survive on scraps, the mighty T-Rex could not. The Tyrant King, the ultimate predator, was brought down by starvation and freezing in the dark. The end of the T-Rex was the end of an era, but it was also a new beginning. With the dinosaurs gone, our small mammal ancestors finally had the space to thrive and evolve, eventually leading to us. The story of the T-Rex is a story of power, survival, and sudden tragic end. But its legacy lives on, not just in the birds in our skies, which are its living descendants, but in the world it left behind, for us. If you want to uncover more secrets from ancient history, make sure you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a new discovery. Thanks for watching.